Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's. Uh, I love that, and that's sort of like my mission on my channel and the stuff that I do, like you, try and give away as much as I can. And what I find amazing in, in sort of the community that I'm in is a lot of people who can afford it will support me uh, to allow more and more people who can't afford it to get it for free. So I think we all win. It's 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 amazing, and I I, I love it that you you know are making all this knowledge available for free. And these days, what are the requirements, for instance, to take your to, to go through the book, you just need a computer, some type of computer, is that right? That's right. And uh, uh, these days, that's becoming even more and more accessible. Uh, even if it all is. you have is just a tablet or, or your smartphone, uh, there is also online interactive shells in Python and, and all these online tools. Uh, I was at PyCon uh, earlier uh, this year, and the, the big news from there was uh, just running Python in the browser, just getting the that's actual amazing. C Python yep. code. Uh, running in the browser, and they they stress like this is still very early alpha release software, but uh, everybody's just really excited. It's so amazing that people are just it's like, huge, oh, you can now run Python terrain, yeah. in, in the browser, and it's great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's so true because I, I'll say this: a lot of the audience who watch are in India and other places, and I've had people say, David, how do I study? Because all I've got is my cell phone, and I mean, it's a huge development that you 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 know you can code in in a browser. I just you know, go to some of these sites and um, spin up a, a server or just directly in the browser and learn. So the barriers to entry are so much lower. It, it's fantastic that you're doing this. When we spoke about like the gateway drug into into coding, I think it was games. Is that is that what that's what got you hooked? Is that right? That's right. Yeah. So I, I feel like a lot of people followed that path of, hey, yeah. I'm really interested in video games. And uh, I'd like to create my own video games, even though, especially these days, you can have, uh, I, I teach kids from time to time, and they'll sort of have inflated expectations of like, hey, let's make <laughs> Minecraft. And it's like, it's well, like we only have an hour and a half. So, yeah. uh, hmm. yeah. but uh, at the same time, it is, it is sort of a very common gateway uh, to learning how to program. But there's, I also, I also want to acknowledge it's not the only way um, yeah. because, you know, in fact, not every child or every adult is into interested in, in, in video games. There's also a lot that you can do with music and art uh, and using programming and using programming there, or just uh, you, you have a very tedious office job and you, and you want to uh, uh, automate a lot of those boring tasks that you have. And uh, it's it's really amazing that in the last you know twenty years or especially ten years, I feel that you know the '90s were sort of when PCs were getting more and more into homes, and then the 2000s is sort of when everyone was getting online and on the internet, and then uh, in the 2010s is really when everybody's on social media, and now we also have smartphones in our pockets. And so you know if if you were just somebody who chatted online with your friends every day. 25 years ago, you were a huge dork, but yeah. today you're just the average Facebook user. 